Hello, people of the internet. I am Solrak Dragon, and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. Last time, we found King Vendrick, or former King Vendrick, down here. There he still stands. This time, this is actually just starting off from... Well, not where I left off. I stopped the whole game and everything, and I come back on, and Emerald Herald is standing here. So let's see what she has to say. This ring is the symbol of the king. Yes, it is. I got the king's ring. Use it to gain passage through the king's gate. Okay. And venture to the far east. Far east, huh? Bearer of the curse. If you are to be the next monarch... Which I will be. Then one day you will walk those grounds. Oh... Without really knowing why. I don't know why. I mean, seriously, I'm gonna walk them so I can become the future king. Do you really not have anything else to say, Emerald Herald? Okay, I guess you do not. Um, yeah, I had not originally planned on starting the recording here, but I saw the Emerald Herald, so I was like, you know what, why not? Anyways, I will be back. I'm going to go and check that DLC area to see if I can get some Phantom Summon for me there. Maybe I'll level up a bit in the meantime, but I'll catch you guys soon. Hey everybody, welcome back. We are back at the Dragon Sanctum, and we have two phantoms with us. Both are NPC phantoms, Steelheart Ellie from before, and Benheart of Jugo, who we know a bit more of his story now, and that's why he's down here. Anyways, also you can see I do manage to have some sorceries equipped, because I managed to level up myself with the large amount of souls that I had gotten from the Vestal dude. So we have Soul Greatsword and Soul Bolt equipped. We'll get more into those in the boss fight with the blue flame, but regard, which is our sword, I don't remember the name of this boss, but anyways, let's move on in. Alright. Lock on to her quickly, quickly. And start unleashing heck on her. And then, Soul Great Sword did nothing, pretty much. Ouch. Okay, gotta remember those cues for what is what. So great sword didn't do much. What about bolt? That uh, I think I might have missed. Ow. Okay, soul bolt did nothing pretty much. Um, yeah, so that kind of sucks just a bit, but she might be resistant to men. Roll away, roll away. Ow! I thought I got away far enough. Darn it, guess I didn't. Right, but we can still take her on. I suppose we'll just have to save our spells for, um, like this guy. Soul Great Sword was not so great, unfortunately. Uh, she's gonna be attacking me. Ow. Great Sword to hit both. I didn't hit both. I wanted to hit both. Ow. Move. We gotta move. We gotta keep locked on to her because if we're not locked on... Holy crud! Drink quickly. Okay, we have... We have the big golden dudes aggro, which means our phantoms can focus on her. I think we're a bit smarter than our phantoms, so big golden dude can be much more easily taken down by us. Our phantoms really do not have the health to tank for too long. Come on. Take it down. Darn it. I thought I rolled. This is not good. I'm going to have to rethink my spell selection too. Because clearly, well, like I said though, she might be resistant to sorceries is the whole thing. I mean, my magic weapon doesn't seem to be doing a lot of damage to her either. Yeah, it's doing very minimal amounts of damage to her, so... Oh, come on, she summoned another one, really? You can summon more than one of those things? That is not fair, man. Attack her. Roll away, roll away, roll away. Okay. Oh man, my phantoms are about to go down hard. Soul Bolt, do something. Soul Bolt did nothing. Soul Bolt was next to useless there. Oh crud. We're dead. We're so dead. We don't have... She's resistant to sorcery. We're gonna need our second blade to take her on. 
But man, look at how much we did to her. If we had another phantom, or if we had our second blade, we can probably take her on. But for now, I guess you guys are not going to see a continuation of DLCs. You're going to see what the King Ring can open. So, I'll be back to you guys shortly. Alright, I am back in Drang Lake Castle. I have no clue why there are summoning signs here. I mean... I beat the boss of this area, so there shouldn't be, but who knows. Um, but this is the first thing that, that I'm gonna go to that the King Ring can open. So, let's take off Steel Protection and put on King Ring. Just having it equipped, and the door automatically starts to unlock. And what do we have in here? I really do not remember. We have... Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. A cave system from the looks of it. Sniper spot. Interesting. Honest to good. Honest to you guys. I do not think that I have been here before. Or I don't remember it at least. Um. Let's head down. Throne of Want. Why does that sound familiar? Honestly, do not know. Um, let's keep heading down, I guess. And maybe... Maybe it will give me some sort of hint. Um, come on. This is a long walk. Throne of Want makes me think that maybe this is the final boss area, though. I mean, surely it wouldn't let me just fight the final boss right now, would it? Hmm. I, honest to goodness, do not know. I mean, there's all these bloodstains here. There doesn't appear to be any enemies. Looks like there is... Head of Vengarl. And... Benhart. Okay. Um... I don't know. Hmm. I mean, I suppose we can fight what's ever back here. I don't think I've ever done it before. Let's summon Ben Hart and the head of Vingar, though. How is a head gonna help us, though? Honest, I have no clue. Oh, you might also notice that instead of Soul Bolt, I have Soul Spear equipped now. Oh, he's not just a head anymore. His head's been reattached. Alright, let us find out what is back here, I suppose? Throne Watcher and Throne Defender. So... Huh. Interesting. They're both locked onto me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a good thing I don't think I can fall off there. Soul Spear! Away! Away! Yeah, that takes a that eats up a lot of my stamina. Okay. However, this doesn't seem to be too hard yet. Yet is the key word. Ow. Ow. Roll. Drink. Quickly. Okay. It's backing away from me. And... Okay, I barely... I barely swiped with my greatsword. Vengarl is fairly slow. Jugo is being a beast of a tank for me. Come on. Greatsword away! Okay, Throne Defender seems to be weaker to magic than the Watch. Both of them are whittling away at my Phantom's health, though. Uh, it just applied friggin' lightning to its weapon. Shouldn't be a surprise. I guess this is like a superior alone knight. Okay. Watcher is down. Whoa. Drink. Quickly. And... Yeah, this guy is definitely weak to magical attacks. And he is down for the count, pretty much. He cannot stand up to the combined might. 
both of them have been defeated. Hoorah! Drone Defender and Watcher Soul and pretty much 51,000 souls. Yeah, actually 51,000 on the dot. Alright, um... Light or dark? Is there... Anything else down here? There's a bunch of giants. And what looks to be a door, but... Nothing else down here? I don't know. That can't have been an optional boss fight, because Throne of Want definitely makes me think that this is like the area to the final boss air strat the yeah. it makes me think that this is the area to the final boss so maybe i don't know we'll probably end up coming back here if that's the case but still at least we got those two out of the way the throne watcher and defender or pretty much the Alone Knight General and the Elephant, or no, not even Elephant Knight. The Elephant Knights are too big. It's the other Knights General as well, I suppose you could say. But uh, yeah, that's down here, I guess. Um, which means we head to another one of the King's Ring locations. Yeah, all right. Um, well, there's only really other one other one that I want to go to right now, because that's the one that'll progress the story, and that one is... Where was it? Shaded Woods, wasn't it? Yeah, Shaded Woods. Alright, we want to go to the Ruined Fork Road. I'll meet you guys there. Alright, we're back at the Ruined Fork Crossroads Bonfire, or however you want to pronounce it. Um, I think I want to go left, actually. Yeah, it's left that I want to go, I believe was left the way to the Shrine of Winter. I honestly do not remember which way is which. Um, Acestus. Roll. So I'm not going to be caught off guard by a couple of mutant whatever you are. So I do think it, I think it's the center that I want to go. Yeah, it's probably, definitely, possibly the center route. Maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> Oh, uh, I should remember things better, but I don't. Oh, well. Um, we saw the King's Ring equipped to us, too. When we open the gate here, we'll probably unequip it. And I say here because there is only one other door that the King's Ring will open, and I'm not going to that one for a little bit. Yep, this is the way. So, we approach, and it starts to unlock and we can unequip it, because it's really not of use to us. Um, Ring of Giants. No, not Ring of Giants. My bad. Um, where was it? Seal Protection. There we go. Ring of Seal Protection plus one. Alright. Aldia's Keep is the name of the new area that we have just entered. Aldia. I'm trying to think. Have we encountered an Aldia before? I don't think we have, actually. I don't remember too much of what's here, though that gate is closing behind us. Soul of a Nameless Soldier and a Petrified Dragon Bone. Looks like we got some dogs over this way. Uh, poison Throwing Knives. Or whatever these things are. I don't know what they are. They're not dogs, though. And just standing... I think them hit us really boosts our um, petrified thing. Um, some alluring skulls. Hurrah for weapon, then hurrah for dual wielding. I guess that dual wielding finishes them off quickly. And that is very true. Uh, we've got a chest here. A mimic. A metal mimic chest. I, I, I was behind you. How the heck did you hit me? I was behind you, mimic. That makes no sense whatsoever. I was behind you. Okay, Mr. Mimic. Are you gonna kill me again this time through a cheap yes way? I hope not. In fact, I'm gonna soul great sword your butt. And then again, because I do not... Okay, that time he was pretty immune to it. Die! That's what you get for trying for eating we got the Dark Mask and the Sunset Staff. So, Staff... Oh, wait, was that... 
Oh, there's a bonfire in there. Cool. Um, yeah, let's express such a bonfire, because I'm ticked at that friggin' mimic eat me from behind. Oh. <gasps> Look at you! Who are you? No, you don't remember oh. me. No, forgive me. I know you. Yes, of course. Thank goodness. You don't have your mask. How goes your journey? It's going good, Lucatiel. I know not what you seek in this faraway land. It's all right, Lucatiel, it's all right. But I pray for your safety. You don't need to pray, Lucatiel. Just... My name is Lucatiel. Yes, it is. Just remember your name. I beg of you, remember my name. I will. You need to remember it too, though, Lucatiel. For I may not myself. You need to, though. My name... Yes, I know. I... For I'm... Or Luke Teal. So, this does mean that we did her quest line properly. Because otherwise, I do not think she would appear here. And if we rest at the bonfire, will she? She does. She's gone. And I do not think that we encounter her again. Um, we can ignore those weird rat dog things that cause petrification are not really important. Uh, we got item hiding back here. What is it? So I wonder, how did Luca Teal get over here? You need the King's Ring to get in here. And far as I know, she did not go... Well, she could have. I mean, Dark Souls 2 sort of does follow the logic of Dark Souls, where, um... What do you call it? Um, the flow of time is... Oh, shoot, lag where the flow of time is very much skewed. So you can encounter somebody and then when they disappear, they're gone because there's also multiple worlds. So maybe in her own world, Lucatiel managed to get the um, a Twilight Herb. No, not a Twilight Herb. Lucatiel managed to get the, the, my mind's blanking out here for a moment. Lucatiel managed to get the King's Ring. Yeah, she might've managed to get the ring in her own world or something. Be wary of dark spirit here. Um, Aslatiel of Mira. Wait, Lucatiel from Mira. Aslatiel. Are we? Wait, Lucatiel had a brother, didn't she? So is this her brother? Her brother has become corrupted and evil. Oh man, I do not want to be the bearer of bad news to Lucatiel of that. Yeah, he stands no chance against us. Alright, goodbye, Luke Teal's brother. We got the old Mary Greatsword, which he probably was not wielding, considering he had a one-handed blade, and a human effigy. So, yeah. That's kind of actually a bit sad, to be honest. Um, wait, this area, I definitely want to be careful of. Um, look carefully, therefore, do. I want to be careful of this. I remember that much. I don't remember why, but I'm pretty sure there's dogs in there. Um, open the door here. Okay, giant skeleton dragon. Keep an eye on that. They're both shaking a bit, which has me nervous. Pull back. Um. Oh shoot! Skeleton dragons coming alive. Skeleton dragons coming alive. Hide. Hello, skeleton. Skeleton dragon. Dear Lord, what did you do? Did your head fall off? Your head fell off. Skeleton Dragon's head fell off. Really? Really? Hmm. Well, I guess we don't have to fight it. Uh, we got a fading soul there. His whole body just went poop, too. It's kind of 
Um, looks like we got hallways, hallways. This one leads to pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Okay. Don't you dare. Okay, I won't. I honestly don't know what that lever does, and I'm not gonna pull it yet. I'll probably come back pulling it eventually, but not right now, of course. Um, this leads to a fog gate. Alright, we will come back there in a minute. Because there is staircases that we can go up, I think. Possibly. Yes? Yes, we can definitely go up these staircases. Sweet. Um... We got a petrified ogre cyclops thing there. Uh, we cannot break that. We can continue to go up and circumvent the ogre cops, dude. Oh, we can come in through here. That's cool. Um, what's over here? A chest. We got a chest over here. What is in this chest? Unless it's another mimic. Chest. Okay, it's not a mimic. Good. No more BSing mimics. What do we got here? Great magic barrier. Okay. And anything else? Getting a bit laggy on us. That's never a good thing. Try gesture. Um. I don't think I want to try a gesture there. Considering whatever this was just broke through the barrier separating Mere World from this world. Ow! But now it's dead, so it doesn't matter. Only 1200 souls, nothing too fantastic. Um... Wait, I just heard croaking. Oh. Okay, you're gonna break through that one too. You have a great sword. Ow! 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 Stop it! Drink. Quickly. Whoa! Backstab! That was close-ish. Alright, he's gonna get on up. And we're gonna just whittle him down the rest of the way. There we go. No drop. Okay, so... These mirrors won't show a reflection at all. A uh, northern ritual band and a petrified dragon. Oh, no, this one will. will. This one as well? No. Okay, hitting the mirror does nothing. Gotta wait for him to stand fully before we can get a backstab in, too. But once we get the backstab in, there's nothing they can do. Because we pretty much have them owned then. There we go. See? Owned. Oh. Um, nothing else underneath here, though. So... I guess that we can either take the staircase over there up, or take the main stairwell up. Let's take the staircase over here up first. Let's see where this leads us. Um... Leads us up here regardless. Okay. We have a giant frog, though, so... Probably a good thing we didn't take the ogre route. Oh, is Mr. Frog trapped? Aw, oh, Mr. Frog, you're not trapped in the cage, actually. Hello, Mr. Giant Froggy Frog. You're not trapped at all. I don't even need to worry because I'm behind you. Uh, you can't get me, na 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 na. Giant froggy's dead. What is our prize? A crimson water. Not much of a prize. Lost signal there briefly. Um, we can't pull that. Whatever that would have done. Uh, be wary of fatty. Therefore, try plunging attack. Item ahead. Yep, it does indeed look like there is an item this way. So, let's see what it is. Chest to your right. Yes, 
It is to my right. Thank you, helpful messages, helpful. Ugh, some useless messages out there. Two bonfire aesthetics. I don't really use those. I mean, I've used one back in Majula. That was simply because I couldn't be bothered to try and get a humanity any other way because really I was in a tough spot that time and there was no other ways I could get humanities. <clears throat> um, anyways. So, the point of this ogre unpetrifying is nothing other than a shorter way up. Well, I got fragrant branches of yours, so might as well just use it on him. Unpetrify his big tubby butt. Wait for him to stand up. Come on. Stand up. And... Come on. Do your combo where you fall back. Drink. Flask. Oh, are you stuck? Tubby Cyclops Ogre dude. You're stuck, aren't you? You son of a gun, you made me waste a soul spear. Well, I got great swords for you. Soul great swords. There we go. Alright, let my stamina regen just a little bit, and then we can take him out the rest of the way. Dear Lord, he's got stupid amounts of reach for his attacks, much like that mimic did. Okay. Drink a flask up just so I'm safe. Okay, he can't cross through there, but he won't be crossing through anywhere else again because he is dead. Dead ogre's dead. Drop the dragon acolyte mask. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, where is it? Dragon acolyte mask. Um... Okay, it's not as cool as I thought. Um, no. Remove, there we go. Yeah, the acolyte mask was not as cool as I thought it was. It sounded cooler than it actually was. But, that's the way with most things in life. Anywho, let us head to the fog gate. Excuse me, now. Which is over here. Uh, visions of hollow, something. Please, just stay away. Oh, it's not an actual fog gate. Okay. okay. No, please, don't come near me. Nothing good will come of it. Why is that? Just leave me alone, please. Leave this place and leave me be, as I'd not see any harm befall you. Well, you sound like a nice guy. Please. You really have nothing else to say, dude? I guess he doesn't. Um... Hmm. Alright. Guess we leave him alone then. Sounds scared though. I'm betting that if I pulled this lever, he would be... That gate, that ball gate that's trapping him back there would be gone. But it sounds like he doesn't want to be free. He's afraid, I guess. So... Huh. I guess we'll leave him be for now. Maybe if we come back to him after we beat the boss of this area, he'll be nicer or something similar. Who knows? Anyways, we go through here. Read message. Switch. What does this do? Closes the gate behind us. And opens the one in front. Cool! That's clever. Um, visions of right and short switch. Visions of light. Sure, we got Ferris Lockstone's spare. Whoa, that is definitely some light for us. Very nice. Uh huh. Oh, this is not. This is a false back. Oh, hello. You were hiding back there. Hey, you're one of the dragon people. So I've got your kind's mask. Cool. Oh. That's... that was a weird attack that you did to me. Well, now you're dead, so you won't be doing it again. You shouldn't have done it in the first place, to be honest. Alright. I thought I heard some sort of music sounds. Will that one fall off? Haha, uh -huh, ogre is trapped! Nah, 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 nah. 
Uh, radiant life gem there. Probably shouldn't mock the giant ogre that's suspended up there. Um, let me go in here. We can. Very poisonous looking, so I'm not gonna break any of these bottles. Because it'll probably end with me getting poisoned or something. Um, what do we got down here? Ooh, that looks like acid. Um, can we open this? Yes, we can. Alright, we need to draw these things aggro so that they come out of the acid. Come on. Come on. Um, do we have any throwing knives? Yes, we do, actually. We got, like, ten more. Alright, there we go. Come on. Come on out of there, weird old dog thing. You. I don't know what the heck you are, actually. Well, whatever you are, you're not going to be it with a much longer, because you are dead. Dead mole dog wolf thing is dead. Oh, another knife to get this one's aggro. Come on, thing. Come at me. Just a little bit further. Just a little bit further. Ow. That hurt. You're not supposed to hurt me. I'm the future king of this land, and the future king should not be injured. Alright, though, seriously, we're going to have to unequip all of our stuff. Let's strip down to our underwear again. Ugh, this acid burns so much. Ugh, it hurts. Large soul of enamel soldier and some corrosive urns. Um, Aldia key. I don't know what that's going to be used for. And then over here... Soul Geyser and a Petrified Dragon Bone. Ugh. It burns my ankles. Man, that hurts. Alright, the acid debuff is gone, so let's re-equip our rings now. Um, no, wrong way. Second Dragon Ring. Then we had Ring of Blades plus one, and Flynn's Ring. There it is. Weapon wise, enchanted blue flame plus five and a fire long sword. We want the what do we have? Royal swordsman was it? No, it wasn't Royal Swordsman. Uh, what did we have? Drake blood. That's what it was. It was Drake blood armor. Yeah. Because nothing is better than the Drake blood set right now. Drake blood gauntlets and pants. It says leggings, but. I call them pants. I'm American. In America, in America, we call them pants, not legs. I can knock down this one too. Cool. Figured as much. Those paintings will probably all be knocked down. All right, Mr. Ogre up there is docile, so I'm not gonna aggravate him. Another painting. This one hiding nothing. Cool. Um, let's open this door with the Aldia key. Okay, so the Aldia key opened this doorway. Hello. Goodbye. Die. Illusionary wall or bean pool. I don't think it's an illusion. Whoa! You were trying to distract me, message that was hiding near a wall. You made me think it was a wall, but really, you were just trying to get me chill. I see your game now. Um, how am I supposed to get that over here? Yep. Soul of a proud knight. Oh man, proud knight got dissected. Um, hmm. bunch of doors from the looks of it, and one of these giant acid cloud things. Kill it before it spews off its acid. Good. All these keeps seems to have like a lot of the bigger enemies all like locked up or something. I gotta admit, it's kinda cool. Alright, uh, Brave Soldier Soul. I honestly do not know if there's an illusionary wall or anything around here. And I actually think I might be getting... Whoa. Hello. Um. Oh man, the slide. Give me just a moment. Oh yeah, I am way past the wrapping up point for this episode, so I am going to end it here. 
Um, next time, we will continue onwards in all the keep, and yeah, just, that's pretty much it. We'll find out what Aldia was keeping other than these monsters. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Anyways, I have been Solrak Dragon. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave me some feedback in the form of a like or a comment. If you want to check out more videos from me, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. And outside of that, I will see you all next time. Have a fantastic day, everybody. Aw, oh, man. Slow-mo wave.